Hello, it's Mike Les, and it is August 20th, and the 2017 corn silage season has started here in western Ohio, and I am just kind of northeast of Versailles, Ohio, and out at the dairy farm of Adam Dirksen. There's a lot of action going on in this video. This corn is being chopped by Wartenberger Farms out of Richmond, Indiana, and they do a little bit of custom work with uh, forage and hay baling and so forth. And they are out here with their Boss 970 chopper, which has a 10 row head. And you're going to see a lot of tractors and wagons and uh, dump carts and such in this video getting the job done here. And also, there will be some shots back at the farm of the silage being pushed and packed on the silage pile. They are just opening up a field here, so it is pretty common when you open up the field that the tractor and wagon will follow behind the chopper and they will blow it back and he is hitting the wagon pretty good here. And this takes a lot of experience and a good operator to make this happen so it's not dumping over or missing the wagon. And you're going to see a lot of that here and as they go around the field the tractor will follow and then after that the tractor will run alongside the chopper as it turns the spout to fill the wagon during the dump parts. There's two JCB tractors in this video that are pulling uh, a silage cart or a dump cart. And you do not see a lot of these out here, but uh, custom silage guys, custom manure hauling guys really like these tractors. These JCB tractors are called a fast track, and they are capable of running 60 kilometers or 37 mile an hour down the road. So 37 mile an hour down the road is fairly fast for a farm tractor, but for situations like this, when you're hauling back to the farm and have to get back to the field quick, it is just perfect for that. The cost Jaguar 970 forage harvester that you're seeing in this video is 775 horsepower powered with a MAN V8 diesel motor. To keep this chopper running, which is taking in 10 rows of corn at a time, there is five tractors with dump carts running. There's also three tractors back at the farm pushing and packing the silage pile, which you will see coming up here. The spring and the summer has been very wet here in western Ohio and a lot of rain through uh, May, June, and July. But now, towards the end of July into August, it got very dry. So this uh, corn that is being chopped for silage, you want to get it at the right stage. And just depending on the growing season you're having, that can change awful fast. So you might think you're a month out or a couple weeks out on chopping corn silage, and all of a sudden it quits raining, and the corn starts drying up and it's very important to get in here and get it at the right time to make the best or get the best feed quality out of it so that being said um there's years uh, guys start chopping corn as early as august 15th in this area and it may even go into uh, sometimes it's uh, mid-september till they get started but usually it is uh, corn silage is pretty well getting wrapped up by the end of September, just depending on when it was planted and what kind of growing season you had here. But uh, anyways, this is a little bit early for this area. This is actually the first farm I know of that uh, started chopping. But uh, talking to the owner of the forage harvester here, which does some custom work, he said uh, it's going to be a lot of jobs coming up here. So I hope to get back out with these guys and get some footage on some other farms several more minutes of this video coming up with different angles from the air and from the ground and also back at the farm where you will see three new Holland tractors pushing and packing the silage pile you will see a t9 390 with a grouser blade and you will also see two eights being a 360 and a 390 with grouser blades thanks for watching my video i hope you enjoyed it and hope to bring you a few more corn silage videos from the 2017 season